welcome to another episode of Maskusana. So in today's mask that we're gonna be trying out is from the brand Simple. And we're gonna be trying out two masks right here. We have something for the face and also for our eyes. So these are their water boost. This is reviving under a hydrogel mask. And we also have something for our face. This is their five minute reset hydrogel mask. And these two retails for $4.99 each or almost $5 each. And guess what? They always go on sale in Chemist Warehouse and Priceline. I have here the blue one, which is the hydrogel mask. They do have the pink one, which is Regen's Boost and also the black one which is purifying made of charcoal so I chose this one out guys because I think this is what my skin really needs right now so you have three to choose from but I chose this because my skin is super oily and dehydrated like I'm a kind of person who does not drink lots of water so it's expected that my skin is dehydrated and this really it even says here for the sheet mask that one sheet mask is equivalent for 40 day days of moisturizer well there's asterisk asterisk which means the concentration of the glycerin in here is more than the concentration versus the simple replenishing rich moisturizer so these are the kinds of masks this is five minutes so it's like an emergency mask or the mask that you put on before you put your makeup especially to those who have dry skin and even to oil your skin is that um, if your skin is hydrated enough which I should be saying to myself is that the skin will not produce more oil because it's already hydrated and also guys this too does have zero percent of perfume or color it has no harsh chemicals no alcohol no added parabens, phthalates no mineral oils and non-animal derivatives so these are like cruelty free so let's put this on first so that's the mask is already not in its film so we need to face that problem it's harder to put it without this film right here. Oh, oh, I hurt. We will leave this mask for 15 minutes and actually for more information, um, it says here, there it has a water boost technology which I told you. It has a reviving under eye hydrogel mask. It reduces the appearance of dark circles and fine lines leaving your skin feeling plumped refreshed and ready to dazzle the next thing that we're gonna be trying out is the face mask itself so it says here that this sheet mask it gives a burst of intense hydration in only five minutes to leave your skin feeling instantly soft smooth and looking dewy fresh dewy hmm oh i forgot to mention these I cannot smell anything. Ah! Oh my god, it's so hard to undo this one. Oh, it's so oh my god. You know what? The tendency is that it just leaves off from its film, which makes it really, really harder to use or to put on the face you you really have to be careful okay next oh okay so this is supposed to be like this remove the film and put it see the film there's no use of this film. I'm just supposed to leave this mask for five minutes and now it looks crazy. It's so, so hard to manage the hydrogel. Like it moves, especially that I'm talking a lot. So this is the best that I could position the mask on my face. 
It has been five minutes guys and it's time for me to remove the mask and later on the under eye mask then um, Actually guys, I could say that you could extend a little bit more time for this mask to be on your face Not just five minutes because it is not made of sheet mask so this is like hydrogel and the thing that this does is that unlike sheet mask it's like when it's already dried it actually removes the moisture in your skin instead of putting on moisture in your skin so it takes off the moisture but this one that's why it's important to follow instruction but this one <laughs> Speaking of structure, um, this one is like a hydrogel, so it's not it's not prone to removing the moisture on your face, and I think this is falling apart. So it's time for me now to remove this. Get buy five dollars. So it's a gel. So I'm sure it's kind of elastic, but yeah, it does tear. Next is the second part. I did not expect this mask to have two parts like the upper half of the face and also the lower half of the face so this is good because which makes it a little bit easier to apply since this is a hydrogel mask um, it's not my first time guys to have tried a gel mask and the my mistake about this one is not a mistake but i think i could have preferred that i put this in the fridge first for this to be colder when i put it on my face so yeah i forgot about that so maybe next time when you got a, when you get to try this mask put this like five minutes in your fridge it's already been 15 minutes as well for my Hi, reviving under eye hydrogel mask. Let's remove this one. Okay, so I forgot to mention, guys, that this mask do have niacinamide ingredient in it a little bit. Niacinamide helps in brightening the complexion as well. So I'm just gonna tap a bit. It is tacky, guys not a fan of tackiness but in speaking of putting on makeup after like if i do believe and i think that this really would be good this tackiness is really great for the skin and later on i will see when this dries up if the tackiness would still be in there or else if the tackiness stays i wouldn't like it before i sleep so yeah this is how it looks like now let me check my face I really don't have problems with my under eye <laughs> so and I don't have that much of wrinkles yet so so far if you don't need an under eye mask you don't need to buy it <laughs> but so far that mask was really good and it's the on the go one I really did thought guys that this one the mask would be something that you need to to bring with you when you are traveling but no it's not as you have seen earlier in this video when I tried to put it on there's a tendency that the mask falls apart from the film which is this and it's a little bit juicy it has a lot of serum in it so I don't think it's travel friendly except the eye mask the eye mask is really good for traveling so I just got a storage full so I needed to transfer those videos first before I make another video so that's why it's interrupted so this is now after 10 minutes and the bright side of it is that it is now dryish just a little bit more it's completely dry but I can say now that it's not tacky which is good I love I love non tacky mask non tacky non tacky mask yeah i love that one so i would say that my face really feels hydrated but i did want to check it with this moisture meter i did take um a moisture meter test before i washed my face and my skin turned out very oily and dehydrated so we'll see about this now if this one would work or not Wow, 50% moisture moisture, and 
16% oil. Like earlier, it's 29% oil. I don't know, 29% moisturized. So that's like double the water boost. Wow, water boost, water boost. So that's my conclusion. I'm amazed with how this mask turned out. It really is so good. I'm amazed. So yeah, <laughs> there's nothing else I could say. The moisture meter already said what it needs to say. So I'm gonna rate this hydrogel mask and 9 out of 10 because I don't really need it like I have had enough sleep probably if I needed this the most I'd give this 10 out of 10 but I couldn't really really say that it worked on my skin because I don't know it's kind of alright and I also guys for the simple 5 minute hydrogel mask I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 could be an 8 out of 10 guys but it's just that it is so hard to use it's so hard to yeah not not really something that I want to put back on as yeah so also guys I forgot to mention that these two are made in Korea so it's like it is a UK brand but they outsource it from Korea because Korea started the sheet masking trend so yeah that's it so that completes this video guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you learned something or i do hope i helped you in a way with deciding if you're gonna get this mask or not but i would say if you want to try it try it out so yeah thank you so much for watching see you again in my next masking or in my next video bye